When I was little, my grandparents and parents always told me how smart I was and that I would definitely make top 10 when high school came, and I believed them. In intermediate school, I had always tried my best. Even though I wasn't as smart as the other kids, I knew that once middle school came, I could bump up my grades. In the beginning of middle school, I was so ambitious, I thought I had it in the bag. But sooner rather than later, I started struggling. And I had realized that most of my friends were just doing better than me as far as grades. In the beginning of eighth grade, the counselors had had ranks and all of the top 10 spots were taken by some of the smartest kids in my school. Knowing I wasn't top 10 because all of the spots were already announced, I still wanted to know my rank, hoping it was somewhat high. I went to the counselor and asked her, but she responded with, we only rank up to the 20s. I was crushed and it had made me give, give up on grades as a whole. For the rest of my eighth grade year, I had given up and thought I was a failure. Then high school came and I told myself that I would try my best regardless what rank or position I was in. I made sure I didn't hyper focus on the little things because the past years, it had made me dread even going to school. So in ninth grade, I just did my best, nothing more, nothing less. And then in spring break of ninth grade, the pandemic happened. And some might say it made the grades go down. It benefited me. In fact, I did better. Although it was hard navigating online learning, I managed to get straight A's through the pandemic. Then sophomore year came around the corner. Starting the year online was a little difficult, but I managed to get my grip. And up until the second six weeks, I had straight A's. Then one day in chemistry, all of the smart kids were on a meeting with a counselor. It was about a pre-SAT test. When I asked who was on it, one of my friends said, most of the top, ki top 10 kids and some others. I had just accepted it, thinking that I would never even be invited in a meeting like that. But then my chemistry teacher said, oh, you're definitely top 10. As far as I can tell, your grades are terrific. So I checked my email and sure enough, I was invited. I was excited to think I could possibly top, be top 10. So the next day I went to the counselor's office and sure enough, I was 10th. Now, all I think about is trying my best. And now being top 10 is one of my priorities when I graduate. I'll never give up.